Okay, so I'm gonna be making these berries today. Um, and I think I'm also gonna be making some of the leafy, the tree or leafy things, but I'm gonna get started on like cutting these out. Um, so I printed out a few on cardstock. Um, so yeah, let me get some gloves on. Um, let me see if I can find my, um, trio leafy pattern. I know I had it the other day because I want to draw out some of those too. I double up these gloves because they're pretty thin and they, they tend to rip. I just buy these at Harbor Freight. So, let's see. I gotta look through these patterns here for a second. Whoops. Okay, so this is not what I want. This is not what I want. Um, this might be it. Um, I had made two of these. And the one was a little bit smaller than the other one. So that's what I have to figure out. If this is the smaller one. Or if this is the one that I want. Um, let's see. Yeah, see I have some right here. I had one like already cut though. So... Not really sure what I did. I'll just cut a new one. All right. So that's when I'm gonna work on cutting these patterns out. I tried to clean up the studio a little bit the other day cause I had sample glass. I had all this, all this sample glass out for a customer. Um, and I wanted to make sure that I was picking out things that I thought I could get that wasn't like discontinued because I have a sample set of spectrum that, you know, I might not be able to get anymore because Oceanside is spectrum now. So, um, but yeah, I have, I think I have bullseye spectrum, um, Wismok. I don't have Yawk. I don't have a, Hey everyone. How's it going? Um, so I'm getting ready to cut out these patterns here because I'm going to do a berry collection um, for April, May, that kind of thing. So I'm going to do a strawberry, some cherries, and blueberries, and I'm going to paint on these little details here, the seeds, these little shiny parts, and then the, like, you know, the little detail on the blueberry. And then I'm going to cut out a new one of these trio leafy things because I can't find mine so just gonna I'm just using my lead um pattern shears for these um I used to hate pattern shears and I've grown to absolutely love them so uh so what I think I'm gonna do for like the outside I don't think I'm gonna use the pattern shears for the outside just because I don't need to it's really only for these inside lines so I'm just gonna take res regular scissors and I'm just gonna cut this out. All 
I know it's been a minute since we've been in the studio together, so I'm happy to finally have a schedule, some sort of schedule back in the studio. Um, so I'm just cutting on the outside of this outline for now. Um, obviously you don't have to, I'm just being a little bit more precise than I probably need to be. I thought about not making this little stem out of glass because I thought it was going to be just like a little too small, but I decided to go a little bit bigger on the shapes because normally like these small sun catchers, I'll keep them around like five inches or, sh or so to like keep it in a certain um, price range. But, um, I decided that I want to make these bigger, so it is going to put the price tag up a little bit more, and I also made these a little bit more detailed than I thought I was going to make them, but every time I drew them out, like, way simpler than this, I just wasn't happy with it, so, um, I ended up doing it this way, so. And that, for this one, I am going to, I'm going to make this centerpiece uh, a piece of glass. So I'm going to just do like a clear piece so I can make sure, you know, like this is nice and nice and stable once it's all put together. I'm not sure if I'm going to cement these yet. Um... I might just for the heck of it. And because they're a little bit bigger than my normal, like moon, like I don't cement my moon sun catchers and I don't cement um, my mushroom sun catchers. Cause they're pretty small. They're um, like five inches. So I just don't, but these are a little bit more detailed so I might do that Okay, that's gonna be so cute. 
probably put the hook right there. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now for the blueberries. I've been trying to draw these berries like all week and I was sort of doing it like on and off, but I was having such a hard time with the strawberry and trying to make it look how I wanted it to look. Like I really wanted it to be simple. Um, but not so simple that it was like, it's not even worth buying. So it wasn't until today that I like finally landed on a drawing that I was happy with. So I'm hoping um, to get quite a few of these done for a shop update and then also um, for a show that I'm doing in April in Pittsburgh. Um, and then I'm also doing a berry festival, so I was also trying to work on these before a berry festival that I was going to be going to. Um, but I also just, I want to incorporate these into my sun catchers also, so. There's the blueberries, so cute, and I think I was going to like hang it right here. I was either going to do one or I was going to do two, sort of like that, um, but I'm not sure yet. See how it looks. Um, okay, so uh, maybe I should cut, cut this guy out too, because I don't know what the heck I did with my pieces for this. But luckily I already had printed out some extras because the last time that I made this, I cut these out with the foil pattern shears because I wanted my lines to be pretty tight and they ended up being too tight. So I printed out a couple extras so that I can cut it out with the lead pattern shears. Um, so I still had another extra one. And actually, I might have to, whenever I, like, start drawing these out, I might have to go upstairs and get, I brought, I bought, like, three new buckets because my bucket is over full. And I try not to, like, like, I have a bin full of scrap glass right there and a bin that's covered full of scrap glass right there. That piece is ruined. I, I messed it up with some glue that I had. Um, thanks for the like, guys. Thanks for joining um, but like, like I can't pick those up, so I can't like just pick those up and like give them to somebody. Like I would have to like scoop and dump, but like with the five gallon buckets, I can pick those up perfectly fine. So, um, okay. Next, I'm using my lead pattern shears for all of these patterns today. Um, cause they're really simple and I'm going to be making these patterns over and over again. So, and I printed all this stuff out on cardstock because I like the heavier paper to draw on the glass. Um, so I just go right in the middle of that line with my pattern shears and I just take little bites with the scissors. I'm not taking like full cuts like you normally would with regular scissors because you want to be able to follow that line the whole way down. Okay. It just takes out that black line really nice. And I obviously don't use these for everything. It really depends on what I'm gonna be making. Um, and if I can even use the pattern shears on some of this stuff.
because some of the stuff is just like too detailed. You can't even get in there with regular pattern shears. Um, so, but for all this stuff, I'm gonna just use the pattern shears today. If I go out of the screen, it's because I'm, I'm trying to <laughs> watch what I'm doing. So, and right now this is pretty um, far away from my face. You think it'd be weird to do a, a pink strawberry? Cause I kind of really want to do a pink strawberry. I think I am going to do a couple pink strawberries. I think people would really like pink ones. I mean, obviously for the berry festival, there probably isn't going to be pink strawberries. I mean, I might be wrong. I've never been to it. So there could definitely be pink strawberries, I guess. I know there's like white ones too, but I think those are kind of ugly. So I don't think anyone would want to buy a white strawberry, but I'll definitely make some pink. Um, okay. So there's that one. Now just throw that stuff on the ground. <laughs> now let's do this one. So let's see. Um, this is the only thing about this is like, I'm gonna have to sort of weasel my way next to the stem. And then go around and start making my way this way. I'm just taking little bites so I don't tear the pattern. Um, and it makes for a much smoother cut with the pattern shears. So, ooh. Okay. Cute. I'm also like not sure if I want to do patchwork colors, like make all of the leaves different colors, or if I want to keep them like pretty, like all the same color. I'm not really sure what I want to do for that yet. Okay. So let's see. And I go this way. <laughs> okay, I need to number these and probably put like S, C, and B on these before I, oh, sorry. I'm not used to this um, camera setup yet, so, okay, let's see. Let's just go one, two, three, 
four, five, and six, obviously. It's really just for the leaves. So this is three, four, we'll put an S on there, S and S2. Okay. Um, C1, C2, C3, C4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then B1, B2, B3, oh, B4, B5, B6. That has the most pieces, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Cute! Hey, everybody! Thanks for joining. I am working on my berry collection for the springtime. Um, and I'm just cutting out... Oh, I didn't put a number one on there. Did I mess that up? I don't know. I mean, if I mistake this down, then... Uh, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm working on a berry collection. And uh, I'm, I am going to work on a couple, like, bigger pieces. Like, I want to do some strawberries um, with the cute little white flowers. I want to do that. Um, just haven't gotten that far yet. Okay, so... What I'm thinking with this one, since this is going to be outside came, connected to outside came, connected to inside came, to inside came, to outside came, um, this is going to be a painted detail, painted detail, like, so I'm going to end up bringing this line down and then painting it to, like, extend it into the cherry, I think. I'm going to see what it looks like obviously, because I, I don't know, but what I'm envisioning is that there's paint extending to make it look like the stem is, like, sitting on the cherry, um, but yeah. And then once I get all of these cut, um, I am going to work on getting the colors ready. So that's probably going to take a hot second. Because um, I haven't chosen any colors for any of these yet. So. And I want to make four of the like leafy the trio leafy hickey medus. I need to really get like a better name for that. Because I'm like leafy panel everything. Everything is a leafy panel. Whoops. Start chomping into him. Okay. Now. Blueberries. Hey everyone. How's it going? Welcome. I wanted to hop on and talk with you all because I know it's been a minute since we've been in the studio together. So I wanted to show you what new stuff I'm working on. I'm working on these new, um, this new berry collection for like end of April into May. Um, so I'm doing blueberries, strawberries, and cherries. And these are going to be the smallest sun catchers in the collection. Um, and then I'm going to work on a few like medium sized ones that I want to get a little bit more detailed. Um, you know, like get some flowers or some branches, that kind of thing. Um, since these are just going to be like 
window sun catchers, but I also want them to be like wall hanging. So if people would prefer not to hang it in their window and they want to use it as a wall decoration, like I want to make it a little bit more versatile that way. So I think I'm going to make my hanging set up a little different. So normally I do um, some jump rings with a chain attached to the piece. So I kind of have an idea of what I think I'm going to do to make it a little bit more versatile for people because I get a lot of people who say I don't know where to hang it. Um, and I think if they feel like they have a lot more options uh, then they uh, feel like they can make the purchase a little bit easier if they feel like they can put it in different spots. So, um, hi everybody. I hope you're having an awesome day. Um, I'm sorry if I miss your comments. I'm sort of looking down at my phone. Um, I am going to put you on my iPad so I can sort of read the chat as I'm going, but right now um, I'm just going to leave it like this. So, but thanks for all the thumbs up. I appreciate it. Um, I'm going to throw this stuff away. Okay, so next step is picking out glass. And like I was saying before, I think I want to make some pink strawberries, red strawberries, and like I think pink cherries would be freaking cute too. So this bag needs taken out like for real. It's fine. It still has some room. It still has some room. So... Okay, so I think I'm going to probably pick through, like, my scrap first. So, like, I sort of consider this my scrap, even though it's really, like, just smaller, smaller chunks of glass. Um, let me put you up a little bit. See if that helps. Um, so you're gonna have to work with me on this <laughs> camera angle a little bit, so I'm sorry. Um, I'll try to show you as best as I can. So, like, I have some red glass that's like, hi hey everyone. <laughs> hi hey everyone. <laughs> okay, so I have like this really textured red glass that I think would be cool for a strawberry. Um, it has that sort of ripply, bumpy texture, and then also putting like, painting white seeds on it, which I think I have white paint, but if I don't, I'll order it. I, I'm pretty sure I have black paint though, but I don't wanna make black seeds. Um, okay, so I think this is an option for the strawberry. Um, I think I wanna stick to maybe smoother stuff for the cherries. So, hello from Germany, hello. I just saw that, so <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm not responding to everybody. They, for whatever reason, the, the chat like disappears whenever I use my phone. Um, okay, so that's an option for a cherry. Let's also see what I have up here. Um, I have some old Spectrum, um, like before they became Oceanside. Um, this, I don't like this. It has like orange in it. But I know I have just like plain red. And I like rarely use red for whatever reason. It's just like not something that I grab. But here's the spectrum red. But see, like, I, it has this, these orange streaks in it, which I don't want. So maybe I don't have regular. Um, spectrum red but I have this filing cabinet that used to keep like um <laughs> like uh like plans in it like drawings prints for like work and uh I'm using it as glass storage so um okay so my red is all the way at the top so hold on <laughs> um, oh here we go I have this Wismock Red Transparent, so I think I'm gonna try that. Um, maybe for cherries, that's like a really deep red, I like that. So we'll put that over here. Um, let's see what else I have. I'm literally like never in this drawer, so I don't have much red in here. Mostly because I don't really think I try to put red in here. 
I think I have, ooh, let's see this. Oh, uh, this is like mirror, red mirror. Who's this by? Um, I actually don't know who makes this, but yeah, it's red mirror, which I don't want. I don't want that. Um, so I don't really have much in that drawer. I have this, uh, this Baroque, this burgundy Baroque. I mean, that blob is cool, but not what I want. I also have this, this super textury stuff. Like that's strawberry vibes, right? Strawberry all the way. It's like so dirty though. So I think I must've bought this off of like Facebook marketplace or something. If it cleans off, I'll use it, but if not, I won't. I'll put that in the strawberry section. Okay, I say we're done in there. Let's see, orange, yellow, green. I probably can find, um, here, I'll try to show you. I probably can find different greens elsewhere because these are sort of big chunks. I don't really need big chunks, but I like this olive green. So I think I'm gonna use that for leaves for any of them, really. Um, then I also have like just this bright green, this like pale, pale green. I, I think this, what is this, Corsica? How do you say it, like Corsica or something? I don't know, but I got that. Um, I also want to do like some opalescent ones. I do like because they, they seem very bright. Um, so I'll probably grab some Yakagani or Bullseye for that. But here's the blue section for the blueberries. Um, and I have a lot of options <laughs> for the blueberries. So um, like I can do maybe something like this if I wanted to go a little crazy with the color. Um, but I don't think I'm going to do that. But I do think I am going to finally chomp into this um, iridescent blue. I've had this for quite a while now. I think I've only used it once and I'd love to make some blueberries out of this. So I am gonna use this for the blueberries. So I'm gonna stick this on my light table. Um, let's see what else I have that I haven't looked at in a while. Um, I think this is a little too pale for the blueberries. Um, anything like cornflower. Yeah, I think these are both cornflower. Um, I don't want really to use that. Um, I'm saying like bright blue, like royal blue, um, or just some like crazy opals that I might have is probably what I'm going to lean more towards. Okay, so like this blueberry. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that, put that in the blueberry section. Let's see, what else? Um, nothing else in here is really catching my eye. Brown and amber, I do not need. Black and white, uh, I do not need. I do need clear, because I have that little section of clear on the cherries, so. Um, hmm. I wanna keep that pretty invisible, so like I don't really want any texture or like wispy. Like iridescent wouldn't be bad if I just had like no texture like this, like if I just did this. I feel like that wouldn't be a bad choice for that centerpiece of the cherry. Um, so I'll do that. I'll pull this, put this in the cherry section. Uh, I, I like, I have just like plain, um, window glass, but I also just have like, uh, water glass. So I think I'm mostly just going to pull from the water glass, um, just to keep it pretty, pretty basic for that center chunk. Okay. So I think we're done in the clear 
drawer, so I have, I call this drawer combo slash swirl, which is just like combo glass um, that has like three or more colors, but I, I really don't, I need to like organize that drawer again because I really don't go in there much. Um, okay, so this is purple. I would say we don't need purple. I could maybe do like, nah, nah I couldn't, no. Nah. Pink, let's go to pink. All right, so I do want to make some um, pink strawberries and possibly pink cherries, but I don't like that there's a lot of white in here. Um, I could maybe do that for the strawberries, but I'm just not really seeing a pink that uh, I really like in this drawer. I have more pink. This is just what I, I put in there. Um, and then I have browns and I think another section of blue. Yeah. So, and then I have the last drawer is my pattern drawer. So let's go over here. So here's a section of greens that I have, which I think I'm going to pull from because I like this sort of opal color um, for leaves. So I'm going to pull from that. Um, I'm also going to pull from, I have an ocean side um, moss, transparent moss green that I have, but it's just a giant sheet. So I am going to pick from, sorry, I cannot reach this. Hold on. Oh my gosh. And it still has the sticker on it, so, or the tape on it. Hi, Lisa. Hello. Good morning. Um, I'm working on a berry collection. So, yes. Yeah, so I want this for leaves also because I love this green. Um, it just has, like, I'm not sure I have a smaller piece than this right now. <laughs> so I'm just going to stick that in the pile on the light table. Um, okay. Let me move you up a little bit. Um, okay. Okay. So I have this jade green, which I really like too, but I don't think I'm going to use, so I just like put my foot in front of the glass and like lean it on my leg to sort through all of this. Um, but I actually, I really don't need to because I'm not gonna, I think what I am gonna do though is pick through like this stuff. So this is the panel that I'm gonna end up repairing for a video. It has, um, three cracked pieces in it so this is cracked um this is cracked and there's another one somewhere uh, i can't find it right now but there's three cracked pieces in here that i'm gonna repair for a video um somebody was making me a frame for this which is beautiful but in the process they cracked my panel <laughs> so i already had my cry session over it everything's okay now and i'm gonna fix it okay i just haven't haven't wanted to yet um okay so i have this like stack of yawk green i think there's some bullseye in here um and i'd love to use some of these for the leaves i'm not sure i want to go this dark but i might um but I, I really, I tend to go for like the lime, the lime greens. I also really like this sort of minty looking green. Um, so yeah, so we have these dark like foresty greens. Um, this is a pretty cool piece. It's got some crazy colors in it. It's Yawk 4403. Um, some of these are written on some of them aren't. I, I bought most of this stuff at like estate sales and auctions. So it's basically just people's stuff. So whether they labeled it or not, like it's like, I don't really, I just give it a good guess on what I think it might be. Um, okay, so I, I have smaller pieces of this, but I will grab this. Um, it might be a little too yellowy, but I don't know. We'll see. Okay, the stack is getting <laughs> very large. 
Okay, yeah, see, like, I have little pieces just, like, sitting around, so I can always just grab one of those, but I want to know that I'm, I'm going to end up grabbing, like, that color. Okay, so I also have a small section of blue right here, so I have um, some Spectrum Blues, which I also have over there on top. Um, so I have, like, a teal, a light blue, and then I think I have a royal blue. I'm not sure what like the real specific names they use, but like in my eyes, it looks like royal blue. So I'm not a huge fan of wispy glass. Um, I just, I just am not sure I really like the look of it. Uh, so I'm not really sure I want to use this because I'm gonna end up painting on black details for the blueberry. Um, I don't know, you guys tell me what you think, if I should use this wispy glass or not, but like, I don't know. I'm not sure if I really like it, so I'm not gonna put it in there quite yet. Um, let's see what else I got in this section. So I like this, I like this, uh, what is this, this is bullseye. This is their compatible stuff. Um, I think this is a really cool color. So it's got this really cool texture. Looks very blueberry-y. Um, it's a little dark. I kind of wish you could see the color a little bit better. So I'm not sure I'm gonna choose that. Let's see what else I got. I got this this really pretty sky blue, which, you know, is not very blueberry color either. Let's see. I got uh, all of these lead boxes in my way. So I'm like <laughs> two feet away from the wall and I'm stretching and leaning over because uh, I really don't want to like step on these and crush the lead. Okay, let's see what else I got though. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. Yes, here we go. This is it. This is, this is it. This will be blueberries for sure. So this is Oceana Glass from Yakagani, and it's their 608. I love this. It's copper blue and cobalt blue. Look how awesome this is. Okay, this is definitely a blueberry for sure. Okay, and I, I think I have more of that, but I'll grab more if I think... I need it. Okay. All right. So I think that's it for the little scrap section. Let's go, or what? Well, here's some pink. I have a little bit of pink right here. Let me see. So I'm thinking like this, like what's in this panel right here. So that whole background is like this, it's bullseye compatible. It's like really pale pink. Um, I think it's so pretty. It comes off a little white on camera. Um, but it's definitely pink. So this might be a strawberry pink. Um, I think I have some richer pinks though. Like I have stuff like this where it's sort of a little bit more translucent, but it has some white in it. I like that also. Um, let's see. But I do have, okay, so hear me out. Hear me out. I have cranberry pink. I have, I have big sheets of this, but I also have some scrap sheets. So I have this cranberry pink. It also has pretty big streaks of white in it. Um, but it's pretty sick. I'm gonna keep this this out because I, I do like that. So that'll be strawberry possibly. And then I'll also put this bullseye pink in there for strawberry, pink strawberry possibly. See, like I also have glass all back there, but I don't really like that glass because it was from somebody that I bought off of um, Facebook Marketplace for a pretty cheap like price, which was good because um, they just did not take care of it because it was like, there's some of it that has like a whole layer of like, I don't, I don't even know what it is like, but it won't come off. 
so I try not to use that glass. Okay, so here's some more pink. Um, here's, like, really big sheets of blue. Oh, wait a second. Hold up, hold up. This is my basement. <laughs> As you can see, it loves to bring water. Um, it's a pretty old basement, but this is the only side that gets water whenever it's, like, really raining. We just gotta, we gotta redo the walls, but we keep a dehumidifier in here to keep away the mold. So, and it does a great job. Okay, so I have these. Here we go. Okay, so we got Spectrum Steel Blue. Oh, we're doing this for sure. For some really translucent blueberries. Okay, so we got the steel blue. It's just their oceans. Or I, I'm. I think I bought it from Oceanside. I can't remember, but it's it's spectrum um, compatible. So here's my other section of red besides my actual scrap bin, which I can go through. But look at that. This would make a good strawberry, don't you think? I think this would make a really cool strawberry. <gasps> Come on. Or is it too pale? It might be too pale. Like, it's it's Oceana glass from Yawk. It was in their Uncat stuff. Um, so it's got a couple, like, cracks in it. Hey, everybody. Welcome. I'm picking out glass um, for my berry collection that I'm making for the end of April and May. Um, and I'm not sure if this is a strawberry color or not. I think it's a little too pale. It looks like a moldy strawberry, to be honest. So I'm not going to choose that one unless I want to make moldy strawberries. And I really don't. Okay, so we got some more red up in here. And I think I have some stipple which I really like, really like some stipple, but I think it has some orange in it. Um, maybe not. I'll put this over there. So we got some stipple red from Yawk. Um, and then I have some more of this sort of like textury red. So I'm probably gonna use that too. Also Yawk, it's their 9500 HS. Um, I'm sorry if this area is a little dark, this is, just the area of my basement that I, I keep glass in. The other side is the, the well-lit side. Whoops. Okay. And I like keep everything on cardboard, you know. This is what I got to work with, guys. <laughs> so this is my red section, my white section, my ambers, browns greens more blues got a lot of blue and then purple um and then over here i have some storage for my shows and then those are scrap bins because the other day all of my scrap bins fell to the floor because the one bottom one was broken so now they're just like kind of stacked on top of each other um and i try to arrange those in colors too um but yeah, so here we're back in the well-lit side. So I have, yeah, see, like, I think this is a little too orange. Um, but this might be a little orange, too. I don't know. It's hard to tell. We'll see. I'll keep it there, but I think it looks a little, a little orange. I don't want an orange strawberry. Okay. Um... So here we are at some blues, some more greens. I have some adventuring, but I don't, like, I like the adventuring. Um, it's a really dark green, but you can't really see through it, so I don't really, like, all of this back here is all adventuring. Um, this, like, forest green. Uh, there might be a, a tag on one of them. Let's see. Yeah, there is. So that's bullseye, adventuring, green dark green um yeah okay um do we like any of these blues here for sh for blueberries um i'm seeing some blues that i like like i like that this first one 
and I'm liking, I'm seeing a few that I like, but let's see. I gotta put my foot in front of the glass. I lean it up against my leg so they don't fall to the ground. Oh yeah. Okay, so this is um, Yakagani 6666 HS. Um, and it's a really pretty blue. So I'm gonna use that for some blueberries because it really looks looks like a really good blueberry color. Okay. So I'm just gonna set this right here for now and I'll back up and show you. So I really like that for some blueberries. And it's 6666. Six, six, six. <laughs> okay. All right. So this is my multicolor section. Um, I probably don't have anything in there that I want to use as far as that. So that's like three plus colors. Um, so like that one sheet has like yellow, blue, pink, white, um, and it sort of makes greens and purples. It just, it's like a rainbow assortment. Um, this is sort of in my way right here. Okay, so here's another small section of blue. Um, I always like this blue. It might be a little light, but maybe not. I do like, I like that one a lot. Um, yeah, like we got some good blues in here. That's a really pretty piece of glass, but nothing that I'm gonna be able to use for the berries. Um, let's see what else we got here. No, like I have my um, Baroque, teal, and clear. Like I love that, I love that glass. Um, let's see what else, more Baroque, teal. Um, that's pretty much it in there. That's a repeat of everything. Okay, so I have a couple more sections. <laughs> so glass, picking out the glass colors is the hardest part. I sincerely believe it's the hardest part because there's just so much. There's so much. Okay. So I have a box here with, I think it's mostly Armstrong, Armstrong glass and um, uh, Spectrum. So I like that like that's not a bad blueberry color but I'm I'm really hurting on the strawberry colors maybe I don't have as much red as I thought I'm gonna have to use some of that spectrum I have a lot of blue blue and green is not a problem red um, like here's my that's my pink section for the larger pieces of pink that I have um, so I, I'm thinking this for the pink strawberries pink strawberries and pink um, cherries because it has a good amount of um, pink in it. So yeah, like I really, I really love that sheet. So that's probably going to be the pink strawberries. I also have a couple more different ones, but it's kind of giving moldy vibes. So I'm probably not going to use these. It has a lot of white in it. Um, I also have this, this is an iridescent pink, but it has, it still has, a, it has a lot of white in it. So I'm not really into the, um, white pink. Um, I also have this pink. It, it looks really pale too. So I'm not sure that's really what I want either. Oh wait. Okay. Hold on. I got some pink. It's all hiding behind here. Sorry. Sorry. Everything. Okay. Here's some small pieces that I have hiding for whatever reason. Um, so this is going to be a good one. This is cranberry pink English muffle. Um, just fully transparent cranberry pink. So that's definitely one for the strawberries. So I have that piece. I have some champagne pink that's way too light. Um, I also have this, but it's just very transparent, so very clear. I don't want that. 
And then I have another piece of cranberry pink English muffle. So I have two pieces of cranberry pink English muffle. I'm gonna use one of them for strawberries. Okay, so let me put all of this back. So I'm sorry, the camera is looking the complete opposite way, but I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay, I'm just trying to get these all lined up again. I gotta like reset where all of these sheets are because sometimes um, water does get on this side of the basement if it's like if we have um, something wrong, like the one time we had a water main break. Not a water main, sorry. We had a pipe burst, <laughs> but it felt like a water main break because there's so much water everywhere. Okay, so this is Yawk Dicro. Um, some miscellaneous pieces I just haven't put back. So, but I also have some pink behind here and it is the cranberry pink. So this is cranberry, cranberry pink, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, and I have a couple sheets of those. So that, that could be an option too for the pink strawberries. So I'll keep this sheet out because I think it's really nice. Um, okay, got some things going on there. All right, so I got pinks. We got pinks. So I'm going to put these on the light table back here. So because I think I'm going to end up drawing all of the things on the light table. Um... Okay, <laughs> um, lots of colors, lots, lots of colors. So the only thing that I don't think I have enough of is just like red, just like normal red, like red, red. Okay, so if you haven't seen already, like here's the pattern. So here's the blueberries. I'm gonna be painting these details on. Um, Here's the cherries, and I'm going to put this as a clear piece of glass right there in the middle. And I'm going to be painting these inner details. And then the strawberry, and I'm obviously going to be painting all of the seeds on. Um, so, yeah. But, yes, I, I really think it's just the red that I don't have a whole bunch of. So here's also, like, more scrap bins, and then I also have bevels in these bins. My... Um, copper foil if I ever use it again. Um, yeah, so like here's a whole bunch of bevels that I bought off of some people. Um, these are more bevels. So in here <laughs> has become sort of like a storage room. It also used to be a bathroom. Work dirty, I guess, and needed to use the bathroom in the basement. It's a very like Pittsburgh thing, I guess, um, to have a bathroom in your basement. This basement also has a shower just like a head overhead shower, but I use it for storage. Like there's fishing poles in here, skateboards, um, some chairs, mostly my brother's stuff. Um, but I have more, more blue and I have a small section of brown over here. So there's some really good blues in here too, but I'm not gonna go through it right now just because I think we have enough blue. Um, so the only other thing is like, so like this is all scrap too. And um, I have a clear drawer. So I definitely have enough glass, especially like the scrap stuff. If I really had to dig through it and like do some mixing and matching. Um, but I think what we can do now is start actually like drawing the pattern pieces onto the glass. Um, I think we are ready for that step. So let me move some stuff. Like, see, like even this stuff, I have, like, this was just, so, like, somebody cut this stuff and, like, like, I bought it whenever I bought a whole bunch of glass off of some people. And they're like, yeah, we don't want any of this. And these are, like, good chunks of glass, you know. So, like, I have these small pieces of glass that I can use 
for like leaves or whatever. Um, but I think it is time to start drawing on some glass. So what I'm going to do instead of going to the light table now <laughs> is I'm going to use this section right here. Um, and like, okay. Also like this is all clear too, but it's just like huge pieces of clear. Um, there's water glass, a whole bunch of different, um, clears and then black, black and gray. Um, so let me, like I have this sheet for some blueberries. Let's take this sheet right here and let's grab the blueberries. Okay. So the only thing that I have to kind of keep track of is how many of each of these I'm making. Um, so that I do not like lose track. So I think I'm just going to use this pattern piece right here. And I'm going to put one. Um, okay. So this is blueberry, blueberry, blubbery and blubbery. Okay. And these are leaves. So I'll just put that right there. So we got a lot of different ways that I can do this because like the pattern is sort of going this way. Let's see. So this is like this and this is like this, right? Yeah. So I think I'm just going to mostly follow. There's a lot of stuff under here. Mostly follow this. Okay, so just gonna stick that right there. I'm gonna have to fix the camera a little bit. And I just try to keep my fingers holding down the piece while I, you know. Here, let me uh, show a little bit. Okay, that might be good. Let's see what the heck I need to do. Here we go. And then I'm gonna hold down this piece. So I think I might make um, five of each to start um, because I know that's probably going to take me a while. Um, but I'm mostly thinking about, so I want these for my shop update and I want them for my next show. And then I also, I need them for this berry festival that I'm going to be in. Like that was the, really the whole point of me drawing them. But then I was like, no, like I need these for everything now. So, okay. B6 and B3. All right. So there's one blueberry color. So that's, that's a nice color. I think that'll be a good like, that's, like, the biggest thing is with the wispy stuff is, like, getting the, like, like, this blueberry is going this way. This blueberry is going this way. Sort of making it follow the pattern a little bit. Okay. There we go. Put this right here. Now we can go back to the light table. And pick out another color. Okay, so I think I'm going to make, this is very dusty. Probably gonna make two of these. Um, I like this a lot. This color is very nice, especially um, in the light. I really like it. Okay. 
it's just a good transparent stained glass. Um, yeah, like if you want to know what it is, that's... I, I bought this from anything in stained glass. Okay. So, 10, 30, 13. Is that like their, their number? I don't know. I don't really buy compatible glass unless um, I'm like, I need that color. So... So let's get some blueberries on here. Let's just, let's put another, I'm making two <laughs> so I don't get confused. Also, like, I'll try to um, reply to any comments after um, this live because I know I've been I've been missing what you guys were saying just because the uh, the comments disappear whenever I'm using my phone to go live. So. Okay, I'm just gonna stick to one. If I get way too ahead, far ahead of myself, then I'm just like overwhelmed. So we're gonna stick to one at a time. Okay, okay. Next. Yes, oh my gosh, this is gonna be amazing. I love this one. I love Oceana glass. Like, I really love Oceana glass. It's just so good. Okay, so I think I'm gonna stick to maybe this section right here, cause it looks like it has a good amount of like darker type blues. This glass is awesome. I've been wanting, I'm like 45 minutes away from Yawk, so I've been wanting to go and get some glass, um, but I really don't need to. <laughs> so, but I want to start making, um, I make these leafy rainbows, is at least what I call them. Um, it's just a rainbow with two leaves on it, and I've been wanting to make those again, but I don't have the colors that I always use for it, so... Uh, I've completely run out of the colors that I normally use for that piece, and I'm like, I could probably get it at Yawk. I think normally I bought um, Oceanside for those colors, um, but I'm pretty sure Yawk makes the same uh, colors. It just might be in their compatible section, I'm pretty sure. Because most of their like transparents are compatible. Um, and then like their stipples and anything like that is what you would just buy on the shelf for sheet glass, like art glass. That one's going to be so nice. Oh my gosh. Okay. So that's, whoops, I'm already, that's three blueberries. So I know how many leaves I have to make for the blueberries. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is a nice one too. This is just like cerulean. 
I love cerulean. Okay, so we're gonna do this one. So that's four blueberries. Put him there. Whenever I was drawing the blueberries, I was like, like how big of a cluster do I draw that like makes sense, you know? Cause like two blueberries, like just, I don't know, just like wasn't complete. It just didn't look like there was enough. And I was like, three blueberries seems like something that everyone would recognize as a blueberry cluster. And I was just having a hard time like not just making it three like right next to each other with like leaves behind it. I really wanted the leaves to sort of be incorporated in it, which is why I like put them inside the drawing. Um, so I am happy with how this, this came out because like, I, I don't know, I was just like struggling with these berries for whatever reason for drawing them because I was really trying to um um hi Debbie I actually just saw you said can you share the pattern um I do not share my patterns um because I sell my patterns and I also um copyright them um if obviously if I can't because so, some patterns they're like no it's like not enough, but um, I do not share my patterns. Um, so please be kind and do not copy other artist work and do not sell it, please and thank you. Um, so yeah, these are all my personal, all my personal drawings um, that I use for my business and for all of my shows and um, yeah, so. I know that there's a lot of artists out there who like to buy pattern books and, and make from stained glass patterns, which is completely cool, completely fine. Um, but I don't, I, I draw all of my patterns, um, for myself and, uh, yeah. So, and all of the shows that I apply to are like juried art shows and they don't allow you to, you know, Um, bring in work from somebody else. So I, I, I hand draw all of my patterns. And um, yeah, so I hope that helps. Sorry if that's not what you wanted to hear, but um, that, is, that is how I, I create my, my artwork. Thanks, Debbie. I appreciate it. Thanks for asking, too. Okay, so I really want to make two of these iridescent ones because I feel like the iridescent is just a game changer um, with these blueberries. So, um, let's see, we got one, two, three, four, this is five, and I'm going to do, oh my gosh, I'm going to do six. Okay, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it because I want to have two of these iridescent ones because I really, I really like it. I mean, some of these shapes, it's like I really can't get it wrong. Um, so I don't really have to number them, but I am. Okay. 
feet. Doing some acrobatics with these. Okay. B5. Anybody got a B5 on their bingo sheet? B5. And B4. Anybody got a B4? Okay. So we got two of those. And uh, I think that's where I'm going to stop with the blueberries. I have one more color back there for blueberry, but I'm going to, I'm going to dog off. I'm going to dog off on that. Okay. All right. So we got blueberries to cut. Um, so what I think I'm going to do now is at least get five, five, six. <laughs> See, this is why we do these things. I'm going to get um, six greens, six green leaves, okay? And then we will cut some glass because I want to cut some glass. Um, okay. So, I guess the question is what greens do I want to use for the blueberries? And I like this moss green. I like this. Um, I'm not sure I really want to do this pale green. It's a little too pale. But I really like the olive green. So I'm definitely going to do the olive green. Um, let's see. Let's, let's see what we can match with some of these colors. Okay, so, like, this is looking a little blue up against the blues, so I'm not sure I'm going to use that because it's looking a little more gray than, like, blue-gray than green. Um, so let's put this back. So I could maybe use this um, jade green. But let's see, let's just see what, what we got here. So we have olive, I think I wanna do the olive with the iridescent. Okay, so Yes, yes or no? That is the question. Um, for now, I'll say yes. Um, blue, this blue and olive. Not sure. Um, this blue and olive, like that works. I really like that. So we'll put, this is a yes pile for the olive. Okay. So this I think is going to have to be something different. Yeah. I don't like that. That's going to have to be like an opalescent maybe. Um, and then this, this and that. Yeah, these two are definitely getting olive. Okay, so we got two for the olive. I need an opalescent. I think this can be moss, moss green. Um, and I think both of these need to be opalescent since they have a lot of um, opaque, basically white. They have a lot of white in it. So let's get the olive green for that um, like royal blue or cerulean whatever you want to call it. And of course it's this massive sheet of here. I'll try to show you in the, in the mirror, massive sheet of moss green that I have to cut down 
for two leaves, at least for the blueberries. I'll probably use it for the cherry and the strawberry too. Okay, so we have this next, and then this. Green. Opalescent green. Um, maybe I should do the jade. The jade green. That darker one. Um, that would probably work. Or these cords are freaking in the way. I got, they used to be like in the ceiling, but I think I had to like switch them out for some reason. Okay, laying this glass on my leg again. Okay, so I'm thinking like that maybe. Cause it's an opalescent, oh my gosh, small sheet of it right here, yeah. It's an opalescent olive green. I think that's it. That's the wiener, the winner winner, chicken dinner. Okay, I like this one. So let's see what it looks like with these. So yeah, like I like, I like that. And then with it, oh, I definitely like it with this. This looks good. This looks really good together. Okay, I'm happy with that. So two, two leaves on here for those. So let's draw two leaves. And luckily I had a smaller piece and I'll definitely get enough out of here. We'll go this way, I guess. Go like this. Draw that on. I think this is bullseye glass. Um, it's probably also from their compatible. Whoever I bought um, at least this, these like bullseye sheets off of, they must have did a lot of fusing um, because they had a good bit of bullseye compatible, which is really pretty glass. Um, I've never fused glass before, so I've never got to see it like what it would look like after being fused. Um, Cause some of these sheets tend to like change color after they're fused. Um, but even for like using it as art glass, I think it, it looks really good. Okay. And then this guy right here. Here. I probably could have put this one like that way, but oh well. Okay. And B1. Alright, so there we go. We got two of those for these two. Okay. And, um, it's like, where do I put it now? I got my iPad in the way. Okay, so I'm going to put it right here. These are ready to be cut. So next, we got this one. And I need two leaves out of this. So what I think I'm going to do, which um, you can always do with these larger sheets, is like, lay your pattern pieces down and then score and break so you don't have to like flip and flop with all of these so that's what i'm going to do um let me see i had taken my other um scoring tool to work but i know i brought it home but i have my dirty shoes on so i don't really want to go and um get that right now so this one this one should be okay I think I bought another tip a replacement tip because I know one of these was bad but it'll be fine for it'll be fine for now just to make a real quick quick uh slice okay where are my um whatchamacallits um Where's my toolbox? 
Here they are. Right. What are these called? <laughs> you know. You know these things. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Just gonna score. snap. That way I can put this away and not have to have it in my way. I'll just put it back on the on the light table since I'm probably going to use it again for the, the cherries and the strawberries. But um, so like even with this like there's still a piece of tape on this. I can't remember if it was anything in stained glass that I bought this glass off of, but they um, like tape their sheets to the cardboard that they ship the stuff in, which is great because it like it doesn't move around, but it does become a hassle to uh, take it all off. So just gonna stick that guy right there. And then I'll just go like this. Like all the sticky stuff is still on here, so that might be an issue, but we'll give it a shot, I guess. Okay. Sticking. <laughs> okay. B1. Okay, so we got one of those for that guy. And now we have this olive green that I'm going to use for the iridescent and the steel blue. And so I need two sets of these. So let's see. If I go this way, I can probably conserve a little bit more glass. So sometimes like, especially for this darker glass, if you can't see your Sharpie marks, um, like you can find like a silver pen or a copper colored pen or marker, however you want to say it. Um, I have like these whiteout pens that I'll use, but I don't really like them because they tend to bleed underneath of the pattern and then it kind of messes it up. Um, so I need to get like a silver Sharpie or something for these, these dark colored patterns. <coughs> oh my gosh. Sorry. <laughs> I felt it. <laughs> I felt it. Okay. So the only thing <laughs> I didn't pick out colors for is literally this pattern that I cut out, but whatever. You know, it's all right. Okay. Now we can start cutting. Um, I'm going to get my waffle board, which is over here. And... Okay, so we got waffle board. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, waffle board. And then I'm also just going to, I'm going to go get my other cutter that's out of, that's in my backpack. And I'm going to get a new bucket because um, 
that bucket has no more room. So, um, yeah. I, I want to, like, start selling this stuff, which I've tried. But, um, uh, you know, like, uh, I've tried selling both of these whole buckets and or the brins, basically. All right, so I'm going to have to go upstairs. Let's go upstairs. I know my buckets are, like, right here. Hello, everybody. All the cats. All right, so here's the new buckets. I bought two buckets. Okay. I'll just take both of these down. And I also need... I need my cutter. I don't really like walking around the house in these shoes because, like, glass is all over the floor down there. But it's fine. It's not like I'm walking on carpet right now. Okay. The cats are hungry. Okay, so I got my my cutter. It's got a it's got a newer um, cutting head on it or scoring head, whatever you want to call it. So I'm gonna take these and go back down. Try not to fall down the stair because I decided to put a cup in the way. All right, so we got a new bucket. I even got like the lids this time, just in case I was like, screw it, I'm just gonna put it in like a recycling bin and not try to sell it. Um, but okay, so I always throw my scrap in these these bins and uh, let's start cutting. So I'm not exactly sure how, so I normally like um, get pretty up close and personal whenever I start cutting glass. So I'm not really sure how it's gonna look on camera yet um, because the camera is attached to me. So I can put you guys on a different thing. All right, so there's scrap piece. Um, let's see. Need to go. Let me. See. I gotta think about this for a second. Cute. Let's see what's gonna, I'll like start assembling one or like lay it out on the pattern. See what's gonna look like. Okay, so there's the leaf, cute. Okay. I'm going to try and just um, we'll go all the way across on this one. This glass cuts very nice, breaks very nice. We can probably just make 
that second score. Just take your time. Don't have to rush through it. Do a little snappy snap right there. Start a little snappy snap there. Start one there. Give it a little, little, there we go. Okay, that, that. So that's that guy right there. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay. All right, I just wanna like see what one looks like. So let's, let's get this one out. I actually, I need to see if, like, the paint I have is still good, too. Because it's that, like, oven-baked paint. I don't actually, like, have a kiln to, like, really do the traditional style of stained glass painting. Which, one day, I, I want to do. But, for now, I'll just stick with the... The basics of uh, the oven painting which still is good like it doesn't seem to chip off easily or anything I know a lot of people use it for um, a lot of their detail work so I don't really use it that much um, I'm not a huge fan of using it. Um, I never seem to get the exact results that I want for whatever reason. Um, sometimes I just feel like it looks cheesy. I don't know. But... Obviously, if it's done really well, it doesn't look like it. Come on, you can do it. I should probably like cut, I'll cut a relief into it. I'll just go straight across, meet up to that score line, and then pop that relief cut. So. I've noticed with some of this, um, like just transparent, like no texture um, glass that it tends to scallop a good bit, um, which is a little bit annoying. But I'm, I'm assuming it's because it's just so smooth. And then sometimes if curves are too tight on it, it just tends to give you a little bit of a wave even on a good cutter so or it'll like it'll chunk out corners sometimes at least that's what I've noticed like like this corner might disappear so not really sure why it does that Get rid of some of that real sharp stuff. All right, and we got a full circle. So what I do is I score that full circle. I don't stop. I don't take sections until I've completed the circle first. So I'm scoring that entire circle first. I'm not going off yet, okay. So I've scored that entire thing first, 
And now what I'll do is I'll make my relief cut. So I'll take a straight line and meet up to that score line and then do the same thing and go all the way to the end. And then I'll make a crack. Okay, pop that out and then come down and start taking all the pieces off. Okay, there's a little piece right here. So stinking cute. Okay. Um, so on this one, I'm gonna take this piece off first and then this one. So I'm just gonna start right here at the end. Loop all the way over. And then I'm gonna start at this end, loop all the way over and meet up to that score line. And then go right here and take out this curvy chunk. Okay. And then finish off the circle all the way around. All right. And then I just take my pliers and start ripping that junk off. And then here is the circle. There we go. Okay, there's one. Oh my gosh, guys. I love it. So cute. Okay. So that's one. Um, I think I am going to stop this right here. Um, we've had a long stream. Um, thank you so much for joining and watching me get started on this berry collection. Obviously, I'll bring you back in at some point, um, but I'm going to just start chomping away at the bit at all of this and probably get started on the strawberries and the cherries um, as far as like cutting. And then I'll bring you guys back in um, when I'm probably letting, I would think, um, because listening to the grinder is annoying. So um, thank you so much for stopping by and joining in and putting your input in. Um, if there's any comments that I need to respond to, I will. Um, any more questions that you have, please put it in the comments. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.